These days, Sam Hugan is world famous for his role as Jamie Fraser, the dashing Highlander hero of the Star's drama Outlander. But before he was cast in the time-traveling historical drama, Hugan was just a jobbing actor booking auditions and looking for work. One of the places he looked for work, HBO's biggest ever show, Game of Thrones. In some ways, the shows couldn't be more different. Game of Thrones belongs firmly in the realm of fantasy, while Outlander is largely grounded in real historical events. The Starz series is at its core a romance. The HBO show rewards romanticism with brutal, horrible deaths. Still, once you get past the surface level, the shows do have a lot of similarities. Both are adaptations of a beloved series of novels. In both cases, those novels have remained unfinished for decades, leading fans to worry that the author might die before pinning the final installment. Both shows take inspiration from a period of history. Both feature brutal violence, including frequent sexual assault. Both feature exciting battle sequences, lots of sex, and a ton of relationship drama. And in spite of their fantasy elements, both shows are more interested in relationships and politics than they are in magic. Many now famous stars got their big break on Game of Thrones, including Emilia Clarke, Sophie Turner, Pedro Pascal, and Jason Momo. Even characters who only appear in a handful of episodes had the opportunity to make a big impression with audiences. Momo only appeared in 10 episodes of the show, while Pascal was only present for seven. It's no wonder every actor in the world was hoping to get in on the action. Sam Hugan was still a relative unknown when he went in to read for the part of Renly Berrigan. Although he didn't get the part, he ended up auditioning a hopping seven times for the show. This included the parts of Renly, Sir Loris Tyrell, and several members of the Night Watch. Although we're sure it was incredibly disappointing to lose out seven times, we hope that Huben took heart from getting so many auditions. Generally, if actors get called in more than once, it means that the producers must like you. Getting back in the room seven times means that the team behind Game of Thrones recognized Huben's star power, even if he didn't ultimately win a place in the cast. Of course, Huben probably isn't crying too hard. His role as Jamie Fraser has won him fans all over the world, millions of dollars, and a path towards owning multiple businesses, including the company behind Sassanac Whiskey. Many other now famous faces came close to snagging a spot on television's hottest show. Millie Bobby Brown auditioned for Lyanna Mormont, a role that eventually went to Bella Ramsey. Dominic West was offered a role in season three but turned it down. He's a father of four who couldn't commit to living in Iceland for six months. And Brian Cox turned the show down in the early days because it didn't pay well enough, a choice he came to bitterly regret later on. Outlander will broadcast the second half of season seven at some point this year. It has been confirmed to be filming an eighth and final season to premiere at some point in 2025. The anticipation is building among Outlander fans looking forward to the second half of season seven, which is due to be streamed worldwide later this year. And the prequel, Blood of My Blood, has also been wedding appetites, with filming underway and all the major roles now filled. As well as the four main actors who will play the parents of Jamie Fraser and Claire Randall, we've also had Tony Curran unveiled as the Jacobite clan chief, Lord love it. And the flurry of casting announcements has turned minds back more than 10 years to the heady summer of 2013 when stars in Sony Pictures were starting work on the very first series of Outlander. Sam Hugan was announced as Jamie Fraser on July 9, much to the evident delight of author Diana Gabaldon. In a quote that turned out to be 100% accurate, she said, oh my God. That man is a Scott to the bone and Jamie Fraser to the heart. Having seen Sam Hewen not just act, but be Jamie, I feel immensely grateful to the production team for their painstaking attention to the soul of the story and characters. And executive producer Ronald D. Moore, who first developed Diana's books for the screen and is still involved with the show, said, 
From the very beginning, I knew the part of Jamie Fraser would be difficult to cast. 